We're celebrating the 60th birthday of Chattanooga's first television station. That's us, in case you didn't know. We started counting these anniversaries around 25. Now, back in 1979, there were only three original employees left here, not counting Luther. So let's meet them. WDEF TV 12 Tri-State Report with Ray White, News, Debbie Bear, Weather, Randy Smith, Sports, and now here's News Director, Ray White. Good evening, everyone. The Chattanooga for 25 years, Andy Jones has played an important role in helping Channel 12 get this news program and all of the station's programming and advertising on the air. Andy is a switcher, meaning that what you see on your screen is usually a direct result of a button pushed by him. Right now, as you're watching, Andy is very busy. He's figuring precise times, adjusting audio levels, and monitoring the video. It's a precision business, demanding work to say the least. Not for the faint of heart, but definitely for Andy. I suppose it's something that just gets you in your blood. It's, it's the closest thing, I suppose, that I could get to show business, and you, you kind of like it, and it, it does get in your blood. WDEF art director M. Roy Williamson, or Willie to most of us here at Channel 12, was recruited from a station in Nebraska to help get WDEF-TV on the air in Chattanooga 25 years ago. Willie had worked for a national newspaper math service and for an advertising agency following his graduation from the Art Institute of Pittsburgh. Willie made the first art cards used on the air by WDEF, and he's still making the ones you see today. Having watched television grow through the years, Willie has monitored the changes in technology that have changed the face of television. And of course, with videotape, it lost some of the spontaneity. Uh, if you made a mistake, Back in the old days, it was there for everyone to see and laugh at and so forth. And uh, uh, of course, when color came along, it was uh, a learning how color uh, responded to the grayscale, so to speak. In other words, certain colors and certain values could meld into each other and you'd have no picture at all. So each weekday morning, Jimmy Sampley is sidekick to WDEF Radio's Luther. From his news car, Jimmy is in constant radio contact with Luther, filling WDEF listeners in on traffic tie-ups, emergency vehicles en route, and other information. Often, before rush hour is over, Jimmy begins his role as news photographer, stopping in at civic meetings and police agencies, as well as at the scene of wrecks, robberies, and fires throughout the area. Jimmy also has a business of his own, a photography shop in Fort Oglethorpe, where he works after his shift for WDEF. Jimmy has watched television grow from its infancy in Chattanooga 25 years ago. What it was like when you first started out with WDEF, some of the changes that have been made in the facilities. I understand that the first film room was kind of small. It was a very small day. It was uh, a converted janitor's closet. You could stand in the middle of it and reach all sides of it. But uh, it was very adequate. Uh, uh, speaking about when we first started out, it seemed to be a, a lot of fun, you know, and everybody was more relaxed and getting a station on the air. And it just it was a lot of fun, really enjoyable. Well, you meet so many people, and you know, when you enjoy meeting people, and it's something different every day. I mean, it's no two days the same in this business, and uh, you meet an awful lot of nice people. 